How's it going everyone? JT Judgment here and welcome back to another legend review in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. Guys, today we're going to be taking a look at one of the lower rated options when it comes to the legends. We've got one of the 86 rated choices of the lot. We've got Teddy Sheringham, one of my personal favourites in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team, which is a big surprise considering, you know, he is one of the cheaper options for the legends and he is one of the lowest rated like I have mentioned. But in game last year, guys, he really did outperform his stats for me and I had a blast using him is he the same this year is he worth the coins and your time buying and using in this game basically we'll go through his in-game stats guys he has got some half decent stats 84 attack positioning 86 jumping and reactions 87 on the finishing 88 shot power 83 on the long shot his stats all round for an 86 rated striker guys are half decent in my opinion and what you you know what you pay for is definitely a bargain in my opinion as of making this video guys he does go for around the 250 to 300 thousand coin mark it's a bargain in my opinion his, his stats on the card are very very good as well now let me go into his weaknesses and strengths for you guys letting you know my personal opinions on him and whether he or not he is worth trying so the only weaknesses really that i found with this card is that his weak foot isn't the best he's got three star on skills and weak foot guys so skillers probably won't have the best of time using him because you know you are limited to the amount of skills that you can use with a three star skiller um and three star weak foot he felt like a two star to be honest he failed on most of the occasions for me when i got into position position to use his weak foot so that definitely it didn't exactly ruin my experience using him but it did you know he limited what i could do basically Basically, if I got into the position to use his weak foot, then he kind of failed for me, um, and it was kind of a big downside for me. Pretty much everything else that I found with this card was a plus. Now, one of the biggest surprises that I found is that his pace is fantastic. You will see from some of the goals that I have decided to include, guys. His pace, he's just running through teams and they're struggling. Whether or not I was lucky enough to come up against people who are crap at defending while using Teddy, I don't know. But he was able to run through to the, the defences very, very easily. And a lot of defences that I came up against had a hard time catching him. So, 78 pace on the card. In my opinion, he felt like he was at least as fast as, fa as Fowler's pace stat, which is 83. You know, I use Fowler and Sheringham side by side and they felt as fast as each other. It was crazy. And Sheringham has got a pace stat five lower than uh, Fowler. So that was a very, very nice surprise to see in the game. His dribbling and ball control is fantastic. It, you know, he shouldn't have any problems. He's not exactly what I would call Messi-esque. Uh, but he's definitely very reliable in that area. His shot is fantastic, guys. Obviously, his right foot shot, not exactly what I would say for his left foot, like I've already said. But his right foot shot from pretty much any distance, guys, is very, very reliable. He came very, very close close to scoring some halfway line shots for me in this team but I got unlucky enough to hit the goddamn post so many times using this card and it definitely got frustrating that I was hitting the post so many times but his shooting don't get me wrong guys is absolutely fantastic 86 on the card felt like it was in at least the low 90s it was fantastic for me he's got the perfect work rate that you want to see in a striker guys high attacking and low defending his positioning is fantastic as well I didn't have any problems you know with sharing and making the runs he was always in the position that i needed him to be uh, and he was always making those crucial runs that you need your strikers to make to be in the right position at the right time so i had no problems in that area his strength is fantastic um don't get me wrong he's not exactly what i would call ibrahimovic strong but he has definitely got good strength and he will you know surprise you on occasion he will keep the ball from a lot of defenders that should take the ball off him you will see that in a couple of goals that i have included in this video guys his strength definitely is uh, a big big plus for me and his passing was fine for me as well if you're somebody who likes to have good passing in your strikers then Teddy Sheringham is definitely a legend striker that I would recommend to you guys so that's what I found with this player his strengths are on the left as you can currently see his weaknesses are on the right hand side there aren't that many weaknesses is he worth it guys I've got to say 100% yes he played amazing for me 
considering he is one of the cheaper and lower rated legends um i gotta say he's definitely worth it like i've said as of right now he does go for around about the 250 to 300 coin mark his price may have gone back up it may have lowered by the time you see in this video but i've honestly got to say he is worth you know he's worth the coins and he plays like a player that is worth at least half a million coins in my opinion guys and that's going to wrap up this teddy sharingham review as always guys if this did help you decide whether or not to purchase him for yourself then a like is greatly appreciated subscribe today for more reviews to come in the future and as always from me guys please take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys